And this is what Frida Kahlo, Frida Kahlo, ce que Frida Kahlo signifie pour moi. Frida Kahlo, Frida Kahlo, Barry Man be my name. Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo. Esto es lo que Frida Kahlo significa para mí. This is what Frida Kahlo means to me. Strength. Frida Kahlo bent the rules on what it was to be a woman and an artist in the 1920s and 30s. She fought for women and their rights at a time when women didn't have many rights. Determination. If you look up the word determination in the dictionary, there should be a photo of Frida Kahlo there. She had so many physical and health setbacks throughout her life. From polio at age six to a major accident that left her bedridden for large portions of her life. She never let her health or disabilities define her or what she could do. She saw what she wanted and she did whatever she could to reach her goals even if it meant arriving at her art show in an ambulance. Unapologetic. She painted herself as she saw herself and didn't conform to the beauty standards that were put upon women. She was an inspiration to women and women artists because of her individuality. She never apologized for who she was and knew exactly who she was. Fierce. After her right leg had been deformed by polio and she was able to go back to school, she was bullied terribly by her classmates. Frida didn't let that stop her. She had this amazing quality of living life to the fullest and really not listening to the bullies and being strong in her sense of self and proud of who she was. I really admire that about Frida. She turned her pain into art. Pride. Frida tenía tanta pasión por su herencia cultural que solía vestir con ropa mexicana tradicional y con frecuencia era vista con flores en el pelo. Tenía su propio estilo y hoy en día es aún un icono a seguir. El Hombach. I am inspired by her artworks because they were so real and such a look into her life and emotions and thoughts. They make you think and dive deeper into what they mean and how they make you feel. She had no fear of putting herself right out there for the world to see. She was an incredibly talented and inspiring woman and paved the way for women artists who would follow her. Bold and mischievous. One of my favorite stories is the story of how Frida approached Diego Rivera, her future husband, though she didn't know it at the time. Diego was already a well-known artist in Mexico and 20 years older than Frida. She had just started as an artist and saw Diego at her school working on a fresco up on a scaffold. She had admired his artistry for years and watched him paint often. She called up to him on the scaffold and basically said, I need you to come down here. I have something important to show you. He was intrigued by her boldness and came down from his work. She showed him a few of the paintings she had been working on and said, you need to be straight with me. Are these good? Don't just tell me you like them to make me feel good. Do I have a future as an artist or should I just quit now? I love how that story really expresses how bold and direct she was and not afraid to hear things as they were. Lucky for us, Diego told her that she must continue to paint. Frida 
Frida loved food and cooking. She often had large dinner parties at her house. She would serve traditional Mexican food like mole, tamales, and chili, and would set the table befitting an artist with many dishes of colorful fruits and lots of flowers. She loved animals and nature. Frida had many pets that would join her at her feasts, including her parrot and monkey. Frida grew up in a house called Casa Azul, the blue house. It was painted the most beautiful color blue with a courtyard that had a lot of plants. Do you think being in the courtyard inspired some of Frida's paintings that have a lot of plants? A typical day for Frida would be to have breakfast with her husband Diego while she read him the newspaper. After breakfast, she might go to the market or do some painting. She would often bring Diego a very artfully created lunch of tortillas, fruit, and bread in a basket that was divided into separate places for each special dish and made beautiful with flowers. In the afternoon, she might paint some more or go to a movie or a boxing match. Frida and Diego would have a dinner together of sweet bread and hot chocolate. When Frida visited America in 1932 and 1933, she said the only American food she liked was American cheese, applesauce, and malted milk. Sounds like a pretty fun diet to me. Hi everyone, I'm Lori. And I'm Sophia. And we are here in our broadcast studio in the high desert of New Mexico. We sure hope you enjoyed the Frida Kahlo episode and we thought you might want a little background on how it all came together. Lori, what concept were you working with for this episode? Well, this episode was all about inspiration and how Frida Kahlo inspired women, women artists, women of her time and especially women of Mexico. So I really wanted it to be very focused on the power and powerful women. So the concept was just to have the whole episode have only women in it, but we wanted the, the set and the design to be very focused on the inspiring impact that Frida had on women. We also really wanted it to be very colorful because she was such a colorful personality, you know? And she, she went through so many trials and tribulations in her life, but the, the colors of Mexico in particular are so bright and the traditional colors, so everybody was, was very colorfully dressed and I think that made a huge impact on our episode. Yeah, it was a lot of fun to be part of. Yeah. Sophia, tell me, how did this set all come together? I feel so fortunate in that I got to work with our team of international artists to build this set. We met as a design team first, mm -hmm. came up with the larger concept of, you know, the big pieces. And then we had the team come down here and build the set. So we cut out the leaves and the flowers based on the paintings that we were inspired by. We hand painted everything. We created the palm tree back there that is actually painted black light. We wanted to go as big as possible. Mm -hmm. So we had a few pieces and then we'd put it together and say, no, lift it higher, make it bigger, expand it out. So we had a lot of fun on site for several days 
putting it all together. Yeah, it looks so great. What, what fun. And I love the little monkey and parrot there. They're my favorite parts. <laughs> yes. And Lori, what inspired the dancer that was on set? Well, I, I felt like we did need to pay tribute to all of the challenges that Frida went through in her life. And you see a lot of her paintings depict that, where she is, you know, in casts and um, straps just to hold her body together and like help her deal with all the pain that she was going through. She spent a lot of time in her bed. <laughs> and so the dancer who was up on the scaffold up there was really was really that. She was inspired by just like Frida trying to remove herself from those kind of uh, restraints and um, yeah, so that's that's where that came from. I really like that element. Yeah. How you made that come to life. Yeah. So the concept for Frida Kahlo's episode was really based in working together, teamwork, and really inspiration. As women, I feel we are really inspired by everything that Frida Kahlo did. So we want to tell you to just get inspired by by anything that you see and keep on drawing and keep on painting and creating. Work as a team, have fun together like we do here at Outrageous. And I know you guys are gonna be great. Feel free, feel free to, to let us know if you have any other questions. You can reach us on our website at outrageousshow.com. <laughs>